morning here at least. Uh, I thought I'd make one more kind of video with some of the memorabilia that I have from my father's cars. Um, this time hopefully it will be more interesting. I've got some pretty interesting things to show and some other ideas, so stick around to the end. Um, starting with some of his old keys, uh, my father obviously went through a number of fun different oops, cars. Sorry about that, bumping the camera. Um, you know, from Jag XKEs back in the day to Ferrari 308 and 355, 348, 360, and then of course the Countach and Diablo, uh, and eventually Murcielago. Um, you know, for me, I keep most of these stored up, and uh, I don't know the Jag ones, you know, from the 70s. I don't know if he even had those keychains or when these Jag or car uh, keychains are from. Uh, he also had an old vet at one point as well as a newer vet. That's probably shown in some of the videos. Um, it's pretty interesting. So, you know, he had an Acura NSX, which I believe is where that's from. He went through a Dodge Viper at one point. Uh, so he had Dodge Viper. Um, and then, yeah, Ferrari. So I don't know which Ferrari these keys went from or went to, I should say. Uh, which keychains, or maybe he used them for all. I, I want to say he also had a more classic, the original oldie, you know, 80s kind of square emblem with the um, metal hinge on it uh, that we used for the 308. So this something tells me that these were more from the 360 uh, era or maybe not even used at that point. Who knows? Um, this, actually, I purchased on eBay. So this is just to show. It's kind of interesting. This was, I was because I was curious, um... This is made to look like an original old Countach uh, sort of emblem and sort of in that style, but it's not. It's definitely, from what I can tell, I believe it looks like it's pretty much a, a fake replica. So and there's some information on there, um, which I don't think is legit. Um, and I don't know, it's the way it looks. This, however, I believe was from um, his Countach, quite possibly, um, or at least around that time. So... As far as I know, this is actually uh, legit, and this I tend to keep stored away. Uh, he's got one here from Lamborghini, Ohio. Um, looks like Marysville, Ohio on the back. Uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Um, and then you might be wondering, hey, you know, these I'm pretty sure were from his either Diablo or Murcielago. You know, very much in that same style, that kind of era as the Ferrari. Um, and you might be wondering why there's keys on there. That's because I have a Gallardo now that's in the garage, which we'll do a video on that uh, probably, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, so some some fun old keychains, which for me are definitely nostalgic um, and memories. And uh, let's continue. I have some other stuff to show. All right, so this is Lamborghini Countach, obviously. Um, and this is basically... A beautifully lacquered kind of a uh, wood carved uh, Lamborghini Countach. Um, it's pretty cool. It's very nicely done. Um, if you turn it over and look at the bottom, so it lifts off of the base, you can see there. Uh, you can see there's some information on it. Um, it looks like it's number 56 out of 450. Um, yeah, it's got these like <laughs> doll rod based uh, wood kind of uh, wheels on it. So I wonder how many of these are still out there and uh, who has them. If you have one, let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to know. Um, I imagine there's still uh, obviously a number of them out there. But So I have that. And then I also have these two Hofbauer glass uh, sculptures. So this one is a Testarossa. Obviously, um, still has the 1987 original sticker on it, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I obviously haven't removed that or even thought about removing that. Um, great condition. You know, this one's obviously the smaller, smaller scale. Um, yeah, and then the Countach, I actually had two of these. I know these, you can find these on eBay. Unfortunately, one of the ones they sent me the back uh, here chipped. And even here you can see there's a small chip on it, but heavy as... I'll get up. Um, a pretty cool like frosted glass on the inside to uh, give you kind of the interior look underneath or inside of the actual glass. It's pretty cool though. Uh, yeah, I gotta be really careful here. Don't want to drop that. Um, yeah. And then now we'll go to the other room. All right. So one of the items is original <laughs> '80s frame with the black, gold, and red that they did. Um, 
with a signed and numbered uh, David Kimball illustration, uh, one of the technical illustrations. This is obviously a print, but uh, you know, it is actually numbered. Uh, so one of the ones that were apparently originally sold, um, yeah, from the 80s. So obviously a very famous Kuntosh, uh picture. Sorry for the glare. Um, yeah, got some lights in here. There you go. So yeah, pretty cool illustration. And then in addition to that, uh, my brother had actually had this and nicely sent it to me, uh, an old Alpine poster uh, in a very interesting kind of wide uh, format size, actually. Um, and again, framed by my father probably back in the late 80s or 90s, uh, very similarly. So there you go, an old, again, famous Alpine. And then, just sort of sitting here in my uh, media room right now, um, my father, I think, had a plug. I was looking in here earlier, and I think, I think that's a plug. So I think this tire maybe had a, uh, a break. And what he ended up doing when he got the puncture was basically getting an extra wheel so he could have it as a spare if he needed it, um, and then getting a new wheel and tire for the car. So he kept this one. So this has been, and I'll put a photo up, probably from an old photo. You can see it in the back of the garage. Um, but yeah, so I have an original true Kintosh wheel with the you know original P7R Pirelli tire uh, this thing is hunkin wide I mean it's just it's huge uh, if you haven't seen a Kintosh in person uh, or even if you have you know that these things are ridiculously uh, well I think they're three at uh, 345 <laughs> uh, with tires so pretty crazy uh, but beautiful condition and uh, I just kind of keep it as a decorative piece uh, around here right now and then yeah from some of the events he's attended he either purchased some old Lamborghini or Ferrari wine probably at Monterey I would imagine back in the early 2000s and then these are actually uh, from some of the car shows that his cars want so like I have pictures of the Diablo from this actual Newton Falls event uh, back in 96 here and 98 and so on so and he's got some other awards that I also have stored elsewhere as well okay last but not least these are not my original ones from high school, although I had one just like this. Um, and in fact, who knows, this could have been my original. I ended up repurchasing it. I mean, a lot of them, I think, had this break like that. I'm pretty sure mine did. Um, but yeah, so amazing. Trapper Keeper. And you may be wondering why I'm going to show you the Trapper Keeper. I want to show you what I have inside because it's kind of an interesting idea. And then I also purchased on eBay uh, kind of F40-esque, we'll say, uh, homage uh, to the F40 Trapper Keeper as well. Um, you know, these are very hard to find. Uh, this one's a little bit easier. They pop up a little bit more regularly, but still kind of hard to find on eBay. These are exceptionally hard and typically are a little bit more expensive. Um, so if you're looking for one, good luck. Uh, this thing's not going anywhere, I can tell you. Um, but one idea I had, and, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting, was to turn this into a photo album. So I have, from high school, like old drawings of mine from back when I was in high school that I amazingly found. Uh, there's some pretty funny stuff in here. We've got, obviously, the Kuntosh. We've got, you know, Space Shuttle, uh, F-16s, or F-14, Tomcat, sorry, F-14, right? We're gonna have Top Gun um, stuff from high school. I have some other drawings and things maybe we'll show you as we quickly go through this. Um, but what I ended up doing, uh, and I have, I have my originals kind of stored away elsewhere, but I ended up uh, printing out on basically three and a half inch size uh, photos. And uh, you know, you just purchase some old school kind of uh, photo paper. Let me put this down like that. And uh, purchase the old photo uh, kind of album holders and you can basically go through. So in my case, I was able to uh, basically take a lot of the old photos of my dad's old cars and uh, recreate them or print them out here, or, you know, in some cases I could have put the original in. Uh, obviously, as I mentioned, I want to keep those a little safer, but um, yeah, so old shots of my dad's old Kuntosh, his friend's Kuntosh at the same time, car events, car shows, me in high school, <laughs> nerdy. Um, yeah, all this back in Ohio. So a lot of these, you guys probably, you know, if you've watched, I have all those videos online. There's the um, clutch coming out of the car. Uh, and the, the engine being redone with some anodized aluminum bits. Um, yeah, me in high school as a drum nerd. 
boats, planes. This is a friend of ours, Quintosh. Um, I forget, I think they may still have that car, actually. And uh, yeah, various different events or like taking trips to LA. This is actually Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson's, uh, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson's Quintosh, uh, back before he picked it up down in Los Angeles. Uh, this was one from the movie Parasite in the 80s that we didn't know. Uh, I forget it was owned. I forget who it was that owned. I think Wayne Newton or somebody. I forget who owned it. Um, somebody famous. Uh, we stumbled upon when we were down in Los Angeles as well. So, you know, obviously going through time. Lots of uh, fun photos. There's the Diablo. You saw the awards uh, earlier in the video. Um, it might actually be. There it is. So there's a picture of him holding that award that you just saw in front of the car. And then, yeah, Mercy Lago. And then I have... Uh, obviously, as I mentioned, he had a 360 and um, Acura NSX as well. Uh, then here's some of the old shots of the old um, Jaguar and whatnot. Uh, and then what's interesting is if you go into here, I've also got some fun, uh, see, so got some old uh, high school weird things and uh, Blockbuster cards. Uh, for those that remember Blockbuster, uh, pretty amusing. I don't know how old these were. Uh, pretty hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, then old shots of my old car. I used to have a GT4. Um, yeah, so I don't remember if I have any other funny pictures in here. Just old high school stuff to look at. Yeah, I don't think so. So similarly in the uh, kind of other, and I apologize for probably knocking the camera. Um, let's close this one carefully. And, uh, yeah, let's go to this one really quick. So, obviously, again, this one's more F40-like. And, uh, yeah, so, of course, the very first images I have are F40 from some car event. I would imagine that this was, let me pull that over, uh, back in Los Angeles somewhere. So, again, more, more car show events and uh, whatnot from the late 80s. Um, yeah, and, of course, vacation photos. So... Pretty crazy, more Kuntash stuff, because hey, you know, why not print out the Kuntash even more? Amazing shot of my mom back in the 80s. And yeah, my old GT4, <laughs> Dachshund, uh, more car shows. Yeah, pretty fun. So, you know, and then similarly, I was able to procure kind of the ones that went inside that kind of matched. So, and then some other ones that were just similar. This strikes me as something more from the 90s or late, you know, probably later 80s, probably more 90s though for this. And yeah, I used to have an old, I used to have an old uh, keyboard, sampling keyboard, so I have some old printouts from when I had that uh, in here as well. So there you go, more F40. So anyhow, an interesting idea if you're into rad stuff or of that era and uh, you're looking for some nostalgia stuff, you can find an old Trapper Keeper on eBay, buy some photo paper uh, holders and uh, print them out or put your photos in there and use it as a uh, album. Anyhow, I think that's going to do it for this video. Probably way uh, over time than what I wanted to do. But there you go. And uh, yeah, happy, uh, happy Lambo Day.